we're going on the PTS. Uh, or maybe not. Chris, did you forget to install the PTS like I reminded you about last night? Yes. To be fair, though, we just don't think about the PTS. We go in a dungeon as soon as it drops on the live server. No prior knowledge. Turn on hard mode and just figure it out. You know, so the PTS isn't a thing we do normally. We're breaking our own rules by going on it today. Well, this is a stress test for Endless Archive, and I kind of need to participate since I'm on the stream team. Well, uh, I am not going to have it installed in time for the stress test, I'm afraid. Don't even worry, honey. I knew this was going to happen, so I asked Jamie to come run with me. Very dick. Roll the titles. So, Update 40 has arrived on the public test server, bringing with it the Endless Archive, a new type of PvE challenge you can take on alone or with a friend that pits you against wave after wave of enemies and bosses from across Tamriel, including familiar enemies from quests, dungeons, and even trials. There are tons of dank new rewards to collect, including brand new, class-specific gear sets. How many waves can you defeat? Cat? Yes, dear? I was asking you, how many waves can you defeat? I don't know. We we just got here. This is the first boss. Oh. Hey, is that Rillis from Banished Cells? I believe so. I don't know if it's the one from 1 or 2, though. It's gotta be the Banished Cells 2 version. Otherwise, you know, it's not much of a challenge because Banished Cells 1 guy didn't have that many mechanics. No Daedroth or orbs. It was just the uh, fire. Yeah, it's the Banished Cells 2 version. A Daedroth just spawned on me. Oh, you in trouble now? Uh, or not? <laughs> Okay, so is it easier than the real dungeon version? Well, it is, but the difficulty gets harder with each wave, so this is only boss one. Very dank. So what happens now that you've defeated him? You get a chest with dankies in it, and then this thing over here, you get a choice between two buffs. They're called verses, and the buff stays with you as you progress through the next area. Oh, wait. These ones are called visions. I get it now. So each stage you finish gives you a verse, which is a buff that lasts until the end of the following stage where you get to pick a new one. After three stages, there's a boss fight where the buff is a vision. And those last the entire time you're in the archive carrying forward across the stages. Well, I'm not going to lie. I didn't understand a word of that. Um, I guess this is going to be something I just need to experience for myself if i'm ever allowed on the pts it's not done installing yet unfortunately not madam i don't think it's gonna be ready by today i just want to play when's it gonna be my turn exactly so i'm not sure if i've got this right but you do a wave of guys or a stage and then when you've killed them all a little doodad appears you choose a buff and that buff stays with you for the following stage but at that point you choose another buff that one doesn't stay with you or is that right more or less it's a bit more in depth than that but yeah basically you clear a stage choose a buff take the portal to the next stage and so on while the difficulty increases with each cycle okay that explains it a bit better so you do a stage you kill all the guys you go up to the doodad you choose a buff you go through the portal you kill all the guys and then you choose a buff again and so on and so forth and then sometimes the portal takes you to a boss fight and uh oh is that doilamish from scale caller peak that's dank there's some cool bosses in here but you know that game loop just seems familiar kill a bunch of guys get a buff kill a bunch of guys get a buff it'll come to me yeah, i've seen it before what are you talking about this is brand new this is brand new but the the concept isn't. I have seen this before. I'm telling you. What? I seriously. I this has happened before. It's not the first time. Like an idea or a concept or a whatever from elsewhere has found its way into ESO. You know there is precedent for it. No, Chris. All right. Look. Do you remember the first dungeon guide bosses only we did? Uh, Lair of Marcelock. Um. When I'm talking about this precedent, just, just roll the clip. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Catatonia, starring me, the Mighty Carino, and this is Lair of Metroid Prime, a game where a strange, mysterious entity spreads a blue poison across the land that corrupts and poisons everything it sees, twisting its native creatures into horrible abominations and its trees and plant life into more horrible abominations. Actually, no, this is Elder Scrolls Online, 
Yeah, but it's not hard to tell what game the developers were playing the weekend they came up with this dungeon. You make the head at me, madam, but I've seen this game loop somewhere else and it'll come to me. Ooh, what's going on here? This looks like a different thing. We're not fighting guys in this room. Oh, so sometimes after you clear a stage, a smaller portal appears called a portal to the unknown. And they have some different unique challenges. Like in this one, I have to look for pages that are hidden in other levels. Eventually, a portal to here will appear again so that I can turn it in. Oh, so just like something a little different to kind of break up the repetition a bit. That's cool. I like that. Uh-oh. Jimmy's out of time. He's got to go back to work now. Is your install done yet? Believe it or not, madam. It bloody is! Oh my god, look how much room there is in the guild house! Look at the consolidated tables! Oh my god, this is amazing! Okay, I gotta turn my UI off so I can have a proper look. They look so awesome, don't they? I can't wait until they're on the live server. Me either, they're absolutely amazing. I wanna look at the UI. Oh, it's just like the uh, transmute station UI. It's like the sets are all by zone or DLC or whatever categorized the same way. That's pretty cool. Oh, and that's the blacksmith station. Wow, I love it. It looks so much better than the old style. Although if I'm being really honest, I'm more excited about all the space we're going to have in the guild house than I am about the table. So the tables are absolutely awesome. Cat, did we even ask Jimmy what he thought about the, uh, the PTS? Oh no, I don't think I did. Uh, well, he's live now. Let's go bother him on his stream and find out. So we went to visit Jimmy JJ Shabadoo. There's a link to his stream in the description below. Check him out. He's awesome. And when we got there, we arrived just in time for a chipmunk voice redeem. Uh, oh, and I owe uh, apparently a chipmunk redemption I just saw came in. All right, let's... Uh... Let's swap to that for 10 minutes, courtesy of Mother Ducky. <laughs> I'm going to have to put subtitles over this, aren't I? I see you the deepest thoughts on the Endless Archive. You must know my deepest thoughts. Oh, dear. As far as the uh, selection of bosses there, they're really interesting. A nice selection from a variety of different sources. Uh, should be nostalgic for most anyone who has done some form of content in ESO, be it a world boss, public dungeon, trial, del, regular dungeons. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed the... Uh, the presentation of it but it is still a great great dungeon and enjoy the experience so overall i uh, i approve of it and i want to see it uh, them dial back a little bit on crash rounds if they can and bring more of the uh, the fun stuff up front it's an interesting take it more or less lines up with my sort of early impressions of what i've seen thanks jimmy but uh, now it's my turn to give it a go. Lol, all my uh, unopened, undaunted event boxes are still here on the PTS. <laughs> okay, enough of that. It's archive time. Ooh, this lobby is pretty cool looking. So there's like merchants and things here that you can spend the archival fortunes, the loot that you get from danky chests after killing stuff in the levels, right? Yeah, so there's a new currency called Archival Fortunes that you earn as you clear stages. You can spend them in the lobby at the merchants on things like set items and consumable buffs and other dank things. Oh, so pretty much like visiting the Quartermaster in Cyrodiil. Yep, pretty much. Very dank. Well, I'm going to pick up the quest and then let's go get stuck into this thing. So we do a stage, we choose a buff, we take the portal to the next stage where we kill all the guys and choose a buff. Then we take the portal... To the next stage where we kill all the guys, choose a buff, and take the portal. And then sometimes there's a boss fight. Hey, that's Bittergreen. He's a world boss in Deshaun. That's a pretty cool addition. So we kill him, and we choose a mega buff after you kill a boss. And then you take the portal to the next stage, kill all the guys, choose a buff, go through the portal, choose a buff. Sometimes there's a portal to the unknown with like a unique extra challenge or something. Cat, I have seen this game loop. I've, I've seen it. I'm telling you. I, I'm going to open Steam. I've seen this. You make the head, but I... Hang on a minute. <laughs> That's the one! Crab Champions, based on the Crab Rave meme, is an endless fighting shooting game where you kill all the guys at a stage, then you choose a buff, then you go through the portal to the next stage, where you kill all the guys, and then you choose a buff. But you can't guess what we do next. Yep, we go through the portal to the next stage. We kill all the guys. And then you choose another buff. And so on. 
The one I really want to know is, did the developers play Crab Champions? Did that give them some inspiration? Let's ask Mr. Mike Finnegan from the Zos Dev team. Oh yes, Crab Champions is a very dank game. I personally have over 5 million billion hours in it on Steam. But no, Endless Archive is its own thing entirely, it's not even an identical game loop lol, so I guess your theory is wrong lmao willy illy 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 butt cheeks. Well, I still think it's just like Crab Champions. Alright, alright, that's enough of that. Alright, so, Endless Crab Rave Archive is on the PTS now, and will be on the live servers very soon, so go check it out, and while you're here, press those buttons, because that would be super dank, and I will see y'all next time. <laughs>